everyone, it's me X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post new dollar-related videos every single day. And today's video is going to be an unboxing and review of the Toy Mini Brands Series 3 from Zero 5 Surprise. I'm so excited about these. There are little pet shops, My Little Ponies, Hello Kitty, all kinds of cool stuff in this set. This is the set for me. And I don't know if the price went down or if I just wasn't paying attention before, but these retail for $7.50. And then we're also going to be opening these Real Littles Mini Craft sets, which retail for $10. And these look so cool so you can see this one's a terrarium i'm wondering how easy they are going to be to build um and then this one is a little canvas which i thought these two would fit my doll world really well so they wouldn't just be mini crafts for me my dolls could also use them anyway so let's get started unboxing i'm so excited this seems so cool of course i'm gonna have trouble with the zipper you guys know me uh, anytime i try to unbox anything like this the it, I just call it the zipper, but it's just the perforated section. The, the, the zipper always gives me trouble. Look at this. It never works for me. I envy the people who just magically can do this thing because I can't. It actually worked quite well with the um, Disney minis that I bought um, on discount. So, I don't know. Oh my gosh, please. It's like sometimes it's just stuck in a certain little spot and it ruins it. Okay. Anyway. Next, we need to peel this stuff. By the way, I'm not used to doing, like, blind bag unboxings necessarily or, like, blind ball unboxings. Do you guys prefer... Ooh. I leave this kind of stuff in, or would you prefer just skipping to them being opened? I would love the feedback on that, because I don't know. Um, all right, so let's get in here. So you can see that the ball this time is yellow. Usually it is white. All right, so let's get started. I guess we'll start over here. Okay, so I actually think I have these... Or no, I don't. I have something by this brand. I have these, like, noodle things by this brand. So this is, like, a koosh ball, I think. But not a koosh ball. It's a shaggy, nido, groovy glob. Um, let's see it. Oh, my gosh. It's actually squishy! Whoa, this is really cool. So it's similar to a koosh ball in some capacity. This is actually really cool because it's not hard plastic. So I love when miniatures are actually made out of different materials because generally they're just made out of hard plastic or cardboard, which makes sense, you know, because they're they're miniatures and stuff. It's fine. Um, but this is going to add like so much realism. That is so cool. So I'm going to put it back in the packaging. And I love that it can be returned to the packaging with no damage. This is awesome. It says, need to mellow out. Shaggy Nido is groovy is the groovy glob that's super shaggy hip and hairy every shagadelic squeeze will leave you feeling groovy in no time and these are by a company called shilling cool i like this thing neat okay i didn't know about this one i didn't know there would be like fidget type stuff in here this is interesting okay the next one is oh orbeez cool so there's definitely something in there but i don't think i can interact with it but it's some kind of clear material like translucent plastic you can see through it um but it's just in a cylinder shape they're not actually individual orbeez that would be <laughs> that would not make any sense but this is cool so now my dolls can have some orbeez which is great i didn't really get to play with orbeez as a kid like i don't remember ever interacting with them so i got some from one of the toy fairs i went to and they they live at my office desk i love them they are getting smaller though do i just put more water in there and they get bigger I don't know. Orbeez experts, let me know. All right. Next, let's see what is inside of this one. So why is it called Cluedo instead of just Clue? And there's a new suspect. So the Colonel Mustard. I know that guy. <laughs> um, okay, cool. I wonder why it's called Cluedo instead of just Clue. So what exactly is Cluedo compared to just Clue? Did they change the name of it? Don't know. But this is really cute. The board games are one of the lamer things to get because, I mean, they look really nice and they're nice miniatures, but you don't get, like, two things. You just get a piece of cardboard. You know, you don't get, like, a toy. Um, because inside, you just get... And it would be cute if there was a board or something, but it's just spacers to keep the box, which I, I'm not mad about it. Like, I get it. But for me, these are never my favorite. Unless it's a board game that I really like, but haven't gotten one yet. But we'll see. All right. Next in here, we have... Oh, cute! Oh, I wish the kitty corn was in here, but this is just the container. So this is a Rainbow Corns kitty corn surprise. This is something I wish they would do. Wouldn't it be cool if you could get the container in one, and then it would be possible to get the actual kitty corn in another one? Because this is just the container. Um, but I would love to have these. I didn't know about this kitty corn surprise business. I'm gonna have to look into this. Maybe Are they just the Rainbow Corns, but kitties, but still, like, they're cute. Look at this little Siamese one. Hi, baby. 
cute. Um, this packaging is actually like really nice, really, really nice. Although I think this is too small for your one six scale. So, so far, these two are most likely one six scale. This could get away with, but I think it should be a little bit bigger. Um, this, I don't know. I think this is more of like a one twelfth scale, probably. We're like a one ninth scale. Like it's not one sixth or one twelfth. And then this is probably one twelfth because I mean, these are pretty big in real life. And I feel like this is not the right size for a Barbie, but very very cute barbie is one six scale just means one sixth of like regular human world you know or one third of regular human world that's what all the scales mean um and one sixth is what like your barbie your monster high all of those dolls are all right let's open the last one it's a fidget cube oh i've gotten something like this before right or was that from a different i remember getting like a little one inside of a container so this one is i can't believe it functions look you can move can i move these kind of they just move up and down and then this doesn't do anything, but I think that would normally be a rollerball. These are little rubber buttons. I've never interacted with the real one of these. I've just had the toy ones. This is a switch. Does the switch work? It looks like it does, but I can't get it to work. That's okay. Um, this is cool. This is American Girl sized. 100% American Girl sized. Pretty cool. I just, it, the fact that you can actually kind of interact with it is really cool. These work super well. These are the actual intention. The rest of them are kind of like, okay. Um if they move at all. This one is weird because it really feels like it should, but it doesn't. All right, so that is our first container. I really like that. That was super fun. Um, so far, I'm enjoying the toys that are in here a lot more. They're, they're kind of more general things, whereas some of the old ones were like, I don't even know what this is, and it's not going to like fit my dolls or whatever I'm doing. So these are pretty exciting. Most of the mini brands are very fun, though, because, you know, even if it's not a mini version of something that I collect, it's still fun. I can populate a toy store with them or one of my dolls that isn't exactly like me you can have them all right so this next thing we're gonna open is the unicorn terrarium because i am dying to know how this works i think there's also a snow globe available but i didn't find it so they come in this little caboodle which is pretty cute this doesn't really fit any doll scales you could probably use it for your american girls but um it's way too big for most other things but it's just the container but i appreciate the effort of making this container like reusable as opposed to the i just can't i'm not on board with the mini brands balls like i have no idea how i'm supposed to use that capsule ever again it's very weird i'd rather just have a regular ball instead of all the little containers uh but this is really nice this is reusable you can even take this sticker off and then you just have this cute caboodle thing and this would actually be useful for like organizing little things in your purse maybe or like your bag backpack um how do i open it i think you have to hold these out of the way there we go. Okay, that's how you open it. It's a bit difficult at first. Okay, so we've got a lot going on. There's instructions somewhere. Okay, these are the instructions. So we are going to be building a unicorn terrarium, which is so cool and fun, and I'm so excited about this. So how does this work? Oh, and you can put that on your backpack. See, I love that they, they keep coming with those little... tactical hooks things little carabiners so that you can use all of the stuff you get and this too i think this is for the terrarium though but that's so fun so this is kind of reminding me of a oh it, it looks like it goes in the dark it's kind of reminding me of a remit already but i don't know how it's actually gonna be wow okay this seems cool so step one we're gonna want these pieces so let's get these out of here these are the terrarium ball and I think this is going to be a cute, because it's it's not the size of, like, a mini terrarium for dolls, but it is the size of, like, a real terrarium. So it could be, like, I'm growing moss in my terrarium, but I also have a little unicorn who lives in there, you know? Um, so this is the ball itself, and it has this part, so it won't roll away, which I appreciate. Let me move the camera down a little bit. Okay, next it says to use the water piece. So this is the water piece. Uh, it looks like resin that they already molded for us, which is great. So this means that you don't, like with the miniverse, which I love the miniverse foods. The making mini foods are amazing. Um, but this means like, unlike those, you can, they're like safer, I guess. Okay, so this stuff is like a substrate that you put at the bottom, I guess. Uh, it just says to avoid putting it, see, I'm not sure, are they just little rocks? Like, I don't know. Um, but you put them all around and just not in the little hole thing because that's where the grass needs to hold on to all right so put all that in there ah some of them went in there no get out of there oh they're rubbery interesting so i think they're just supposed to be like little rocks um 
wow, they're, I felt, I thought that they'd feel like nerds because they look like nerds, but they, um, they feel just rubbery. They're very interesting. Nerds is a candy in America, by the way. I don't know if everybody has that. So probably just a confusing sentence all around. Okay. So that is what we have so far. And then step four is to use, I, oh, I thought it came with tweezers. Oh, it does. Oh, it comes with a little scraper so that you can free the things, but it's cardboard, which is great, so it's not wasteful. Um, I appreciate that. You can actually recycle this. And then number five is this thing. So this is the grass, and this is actually like a flocked piece of foam. You can kind of see the foam under there. It's really, really soft feeling. I love this, and it's going to look so nice, the texture. So let's put that in there. So I wonder what, I mean, I guess I've never built a terrarium other than for my pets. I don't know what this is supposed to be. Maybe it's just decorative. Okay, so now the substrate is in. And then this is the fun part, in my opinion, because this is when you get to place all of your decor. So I'm going to dump them into here because they are like real miniature trees, if you've seen those before. So they have this moss stuff that is going to shed a lot. So you're basically going to stick this into the foam and it'll leave a hole, so... Make sure you like the placement, I guess. Um, and I would be careful placing it too close to the edge because you want this to be able to close. Okay, and then you get three trees. I thought it was only two. So you get these flower trees and they're really nice. Mine is too much flocking, I think, on this one. It's on the, but that's fine. And then this one does not have the flowers. So I'm gonna put the no flowers one over here and then the other flowers one. Oh, that one's got a little bent there. Um, I'm gonna put the other one here, kind of next to this one. See, that is so fun. And then we do have a mess here, so I'm gonna sweep that into my thing. But it, I should have put a paper towel down before doing any kind of craft. You should always like put something down to protect your workspace. Although this this isn't gonna ruin my workspace or anything. So what is this? I have like a, a scraper of some sort. Is that just for like getting rid of the excess stuff? Yeah, what is this? It doesn't show it on the manifest. This is, oh, I'm I'm... That is hilarious. Okay, I'm, I'm just silly. It's a separator for your caboodle. Okay, that's really cool, actually. So you can actually use your little caboodle. Yay, okay, that was nice of them. I had no idea. And then um, it's saying to put the crystals and the unicorn in too, and those are in here. So and there's also what I think is a bush. So let's get these out. This is actually the coolest thing ever. I really hope they come out with more of these. Okay, so the crystals, I think I want them on the shore of the lake, which seems to be what they're doing too. Um, but I think that kind of makes sense to have like this crystal lake thing going on. And then this little bush. I'm not sure if I like the little bush. It's a little bit too green. So I'll put it over there. No, I think that looks good. I think it's fun to differentiate the greens in the area. And then the unicorn, I'd like there. Okay, so this was so user-friendly and so fun. I'm actually in disbelief over how cool this was. Oh my gosh. And then, of course, everything is actually going to stay in place because we punched them into the foam. And then it's showing you how to close it correctly so that it stays closed. So you're going to line this little diamond up in the back. And then you can tie that thing on if you want to, if you want to be able to carry it around. But I don't want to do that, so I'm not going to. Um, but it came with a little thingy to do that with, but I don't really want to use it. And there we go. So, wow, I cannot wait to set this up in a doll's room. This would be one of those things that you put, like, on the little table, like the couch side table. This is so cool. I can't believe how nice this is. Oh, my God. Yeah, so this is probably my favorite miniature, like, American release product I've ever done. It definitely reminds me of a Remet set, but even better because it's not just plastic. It's like cool materials, like the foam with the flocking and these being made out of like miniature tree material. I'm blown away. If you know what I'm talking about, like if you go to a craft store, they'll always have this miniature tree material. Um, but yeah, let me turn this off too so you can see without the reflections. How cool is that? I'm in love with that. That is amazing. Uh, so I can't wait to do the canvas art one too. Uh, okay, so next we're going to open another one of these Toy Mini Brands balls because we have four of them. And again, we're hoping for the Hello Kitties and the My Little Ponies. And I think there's Frozen Moments too. So those are the rares here. Oh, by the way, I'm, I was laughing. I didn't realize that the gold ones were Mini Brands doing and they were rare. And I pulled one in 
the last video that I did on mini brands and I was like really upset about it. <laughs> and then I saw the packaging for them in the store and it said like, look for the ultra rare gold. And I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm not a fan of the gold ones. Maybe certain ones would be cool. I just did that perfectly and that was so satisfying. Um, maybe there's gold ones that I would like, but I didn't like the one that I had. It just seemed kind of lazy, but that's fine. I mean, it's ultra rare, whatever. You'll probably not end up with it at least. Okay, this one is not opening. There we go. Here is our next mini brands ball. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh, I got so excited that there was a dinosaur kitty corns because this is probably the same company, if I had to guess. Like the company that originally made these, Zuru. Oh, it's Zuru? Yeah, so I love this. This is so cool. So we have Robo Alive and Kitty Corn Surprise here. I'm curious what these are like. You know I love dinosaurs, guys. Okay, and then the next one. And again, I would love to have a mini of the Robo Alive and the Kitty Surprise. Okay, what is this? Okay, it's a Dungeons & Dragons board game. So I assume this is to, like, introduce you to D&D. And it's by Hasbro. Does Hasbro own D&D? I had no idea. Okay, so this is very cute. And again just like the kitty corn in the robo alive it would be cool if there was like another option where if i unboxed another one like pieces could come out and then i have like pieces for the board game and the board game box i don't, I don't know i think that'd be fun okay we have a light bright very cute another example of something i got a lot of cardboard boxes um another example of something where like having a little mini bright, light bright in a different container would be so cool um so this is kind of a classic look to the box here at least when I was a kid, they looked something like that. And then, okay, what is, is this Angel High? <gasps> oh my god, there's a doll in there. Okay, so the I think the ball is way too big. I think it would be well-sized for maybe American Girl. There's definitely the doll. She is in there. We would have to break this to get her out of here. It doesn't look like it will unbox cleanly at all. I think you have to break it, um, which I might do. Because look at her in there. She's trapped. I have to free her. Mine has a little bit of a defect, her... um. Makeup is running, but oh my god, this is so cute. Angel High dolls are really, really nice, by the way. I just never really see them in stores, but these are, like, fantastic. I think they're also by Zuru. They are extremely high quality and, like, gorgeous little dolls, and I really like them. Zuru, there it is. Uh, but yeah, there's an Angel High doll. Cute. And then the last one is... Is there money? Yo! It's pretty Barbie-sized money. <laughs> it has a band on it. We got 20, we just got a stack of 20s. And I love that it says this is not real tender. Like, yeah, it's, I mean, it's pretty small and it's a surprise right there. Cool. So we got some Andrew Jacksons on our $20 bills. <laughs> Whoa. And that wasn't the only thing in here either. This one, we got this thing. It's a Play-Doh, like it, it'll extrude stuff through the hair so that you can like cut the hair and stuff. Cool this one that's more that's something that i would put in my doll toy store and not <laughs> in my doll's doll collection you know uh okay so we're still not gonna look at this yet because i want to keep it a surprise so if i i mean because i have been surprised by most of the things here i'm really surprised by the money what the heck <laughs> that is so funny especially that it's coming in a band like that i love that okay and then yeah let's open another one please <laughs> allow me the pleasure oh ooh, that actually worked it didn't go on the perforation though i mean it did on one side but not both sides interesting okay okay i'm gonna be quiet for this one ready beautiful i love that sound okay all right come on okay oh i got this thing off all right here we have our five surprise ball i'm gonna start here come on my little pony little spot drop hello kitty Power Rangers? Cool! Okay, I'm not mad about Power Rangers. I'm excited about Power Rangers. Cool. We got the Blue Ranger. Love that. That's a good pull, I think. I'm excited about that one. <laughs> and then here we have... Well... A Spirograph, and it comes in this cool holographic packaging. Okay, I'm not as mad about them just coming in cardboard if it is holographic like this. Woo! So if you've never used one of these, it comes with these little plastic stencils that are spiral shaped or they're like really funky shaped and then you stick your pencil on one and spin it and it will make your pencil move around all fun and you'll or I think the spiral moves in some certain way because it's not just like a hole in the center. 
that you put it on, it's like, it'll be like shaped interesting and it makes your pencil do all kinds of fun shapes. So you can, it's really fun. I had one of these and it was so cool. So you get all your little stencils, you can put them in the middle and go for it. And it's super fun. Okay. And then, and then, oh, well, this is kind of big. Um, I guess it could be like a jumbo one for American Girls, but we got a, listen, yes, pop it thing. Uh, this reminds me of the pop it pets, which I love, by the way. I bought a bunch of those. <laughs> they are very fun. Um, not quite small enough, but they wanted it to be functional. So I appreciate this. This is probably one of the rarer things to get because it's really cool. Um, and kids would absolutely love that, I'm sure. Um, okay, next we have... Another Play-Doh animal crew thing. Interesting. So we got Pigsley. So now we have Pigsley and Nabel. So we got the line forming here. And then in here, do we also have... We have money in here too! Wait, did the other one... Did the first one come with money too? And I just didn't notice. So we have some tens. This is so cool. They actually are like printed on a nice material too. It's not just like white paper you know so it actually looks pretty good i think well i'm double checking the old containers and i don't think i got money in those but i'll have to recheck the footage i don't i, I gotta get the money out okay and then this one <gasps> what is this this is a book it's black beauty it's about a horse i've heard of this book before and it's actually printed in there i think it is it's just too small to see but it looks like it's actually printed Unless it's just lorem ipsum dipsum, which it might be. Um, okay, this is really cool. What the heck? I didn't know you could get this. Wow. Okay, I hope there's more books because this is incredible and it is fully Barbie sized. And I will show all of these items next to some like Rainbow High and Barbie dolls so that you guys can see the scale of them. All right, this is... Okay, so these are my favorite things so far. <laughs> these are all exceptional items exceptional this isn't from the toy mini brands obviously but like these are super cool these are the things that i want to see more things like them but of course like i get it for the price you need to supplement by just having a cardboard box that's fine um but this is great this is what we like to see all right move them out of the way now i think we're gonna unbox this first and then we'll do the canvas because i it looks like i have to paint that so that's gonna be interesting um and i want to get my dolls to paint it so we're gonna change our setup a little bit like i want I want to see if I can get the dolls to look like they're doing it, because that's kind of why I bought it. Although I'm not sure if I want to paint on it, but I will to show you guys, I think. Um, but I would prefer to just leave it blank and have it in like a little doll art studio of some sort. That'd be pretty cute. But it just depends on the sizing of it. Okay. This thing is either like, it comes right off or it's impossible. Oh, but I still need to do this anyway. That probably wasn't helping. <laughs> Please. Okay go and then I guess you can just force it apart by like pulling the other things down thought I broke my nail for a second I was gonna be mad okay because I already broke one all right here they are very cool so let's go okay please one of Littlest Pet Shop Hello Kitty or My Little Pony in this one come on okay we've got Trivial Pursuit the cardboard box cool i would love to play a trivia game like this about like something that i obsess over like pokemon or monster high or something because i would wipe the floor with people but it's like who would i play with that it wouldn't be like a slaughter you know <laughs> um me and brad have played like little pokemon trivia type things but th nothing like this that's this extensive exists i don't know that would be really fun okay the next thing oh i haven't gotten anything like this i didn't even think about it okay so this is one of the displays <gasps> it's a cash register I think these stickers will not come out. There we go. Oh, cute. Oh, so it's... Yeah, I can put the money in there. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so let's see. It goes like this. This is so cool. And it's actually Barbie-sized. Most things are not. Okay, so we have this thing, which has our total, which is $123. That's, like, a good... I mean, everything we have here, 123 is probably pretty fair. Oh, I love this. I usually hate putting the stickers on myself, but this isn't too bad. Okay, first of all, I have to say that I'm very... I know these are always... You have to build them because they... Is this upside down? It is. Um, Because they come in that container, so you, you have to, in terms of... To make it fit in there. 
Um, but they could have just made it all white and then done the stickers, but I really appreciate that it is also pink because it just helps it stand out. Although pink isn't the best color for this, I don't think. And there's a working little drawer, and this is so I can put the money inside, which I really appreciate that. I am getting really nervous about our prospects of getting a Lowe's Pet Shop or My Little Pony, though. So hopefully we do. <laughs> okay, so we have three more to go. What if I'm just confused and there's no chance of getting those in this set? I mean, I know I can get Hello Kitty. Okay, so this is a Pets Alive Zuru thing. I've seen these before. They're actually really cute. Um, th these pug love to shake it. I see. I sounded so funny when I said that. <laughs> okay, cute. And you see a little guy in there. You can get him out of there. This is fun. I think I would probably get him out of there. Although the container is quite cute, but you would just remove this and then pop your little guy out of there. I just love that there's actually little toys in there instead of like a, oh, <gasps> we got money! Instead of like a little picture. Oh, these are 50s. You don't really see 50s too often. Okay, let's put this little guy in here. Do these get international distribution? Or are y'all just ending up with US dollars in your five surprise sets? Because these are made in Australia, but maybe there's different variants for different countries. I don't know. Um, okay, next. <gasps> yeah, we got one. We got Fluttershy! Yay! Oh my god! <laughs> That's the one! That's what it's been all about! That's what we've been waiting for! How do we free her? I'm going to free her immediately. Immediately. I need to get her out of there. I need to get her out of there. I think there's a pole thing here. Oh my god, please. Fluttershy, come out of there! Little mama. Um, it sucks that I will not be able to preserve this packaging. I think it'll, it's going to remove, yeah, it's going to remove all the artwork, but I need to have my mini Fluttershy out of there. Hmm. Come out. <laughs> okay, we will do it later off camera because I don't think it's going to happen on camera, but look at her! You can see some paint has smeared there. Um, and the, I think she should have had a forelock of some sort because it's kind of, uh, she's bald right now. But oh my god, I'm so excited about this. Honestly, might leave it in the packaging. We'll see. This is amazing. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Okay. And then last one. What if we get lucky twice? Oh, Tamagotchi? <gasps> and it's actually in there. Get it out. Free the Tamagotchi. What? Destroying the packaging. It's fine. I just have like human-sized fingers. Okay. Get her out of there. Oh, my God. My Tamagotchi. Oh, my God. It's This was the golden ball. I mean, the Trivial Pursuit was kind of lame, but we got money, we got a cash register, we got My Little Pony, we got a Tamagotchi, and we got this guy. Oh my god. Alright, so... These are the best things in the set so far. Okay, so now we're going to spoil the rest of the set for myself, so all future unboxing of these that I do, which do you want to see more? Please let me know. Um, all future unboxing of these, I will have my knowledge well poisoned because I'll know what to expect. But let's see. Okay, so there's Frozen Moments. I saw this one on the packaging, so I knew about this one. Oh, there's also a Hello Kitty driving away one. And then um, I guess we got the rare rose gold. Is that what this is? It looks like it. Cool. I didn't notice. I love that <laughs> for me. Ooh. The F.A.O. Schwartz teddy bear in gold is pretty cool. And then we have some glow in the dark, so you can get a little mini fidget spinner, probably the American Girl size ones, and then Battleship. Here we have the metallic, so we got another special. So we got the Spirograph metallic, which is special. And then common, I want the N64 controller. Are you kidding me? And the SNES controller. <gasps> oh my god. They really outdid themselves with this lineup. Oh my god. Okay, so there's the Angel High. I would love these bloom ones if the dolls are actually in there, but I doubt they are. Uh, this is cool. The styling head is cool, too, from Sparkle Girls. And then we have... So, Nido, this is probably this one. That is a great one. You wouldn't think it is from the picture, but it's awesome. Because it actually has the little ball inside. Look at the little Hello Kitty, like, friendship bracelet set. That's cool. Okay. And then open this up some more. Oh, the little sweatshops, shops. I see them. Okay. We have Crystal Riders. I don't know what that is, but that looks fine. The Kinetic Sand Treasure Chest. Bakugan! Oh my god. 
I am so excited. <gasps> the Little Special Cruise Ship. This is like nostalgic for me at this point. This came out in uh, 2016 or 2017 and was for the like newer generation of Little Special Ships, which I actually love. That's the ones that are in here are the new gen. And um, I remember Hasbro sent these to like the, the Little Special YouTubers of the time. Um, oh my god. I, 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 sh I never got that set and I really should have. Um, oh, Mouse Trap. See, I would love this if it had like any semblance, like even just the board but they don't. Um, and we have Optimus Prime and Megatron here too. I know that's Optimus Prime. I can't, the color scheme is leading me to believe that is Megatron, but that's definitely Optimus Prime. I want those. Those are awesome. And then here we have, so you can get Twilight and Fluttershy and this little, is that a sloth and a monkey from Little's Pet Shop? I want, there's, there's a safe and a credit card reader. <gasps> These are actually useful. I'm so excited. So you can get the shelves too. The shelves are useful, but if you are using these as miniatures for your doll, they're not super useful. Is that a Bitcoin? I can't read. Is that a Bitcoin? Why? And is this supposed to be your Bitcoin wallet? I hope I'm misinterpreting that. That is hilarious oh my god and then you can see that you can get one five ten twenty fifty and a hundred which are all the typical american ones there is a two dollar bill though in reality um and then you can see all the different oh there's a collector's case so what is exclusive to the collector's case i wonder how do i okay so this tamagotchi is exclusive to the collector's case this present pet set i'm just curious i don't want to get my hopes up on a certain thing that i'm not going to be getting you know um Looks like maybe it's just those two things. Interesting. Oh, look at that little Hello Kitty. I want the little Hello Kitties. Okay. So, oh, that shopping cart is cute. And it's showing you the other options too. Okay. So, Mini Brands has stepped up their game a lot, and I'm very excited about it. So, yay. This is so cool. I'm just really surprised this is in, like, a hard plastic. It's not, like, a soft plastic like these actually come in. Um, and now I'm second-guessing unboxing it, guys, so I'm probably not going to. And if I get another one, I'll just unbox this one the rest of the way. But this is, like, actually adorable. It'll look so cute on the shelf. And I I, I realize that, like, other miniature My Little Ponies exist. Obviously not this small. Well, some do that are this small, but I don't know. I really like that. That is so cute. Okay. Now for this. Let me go get my dolls. All right, friends, welcome to this setup. So I've stacked my risers so that these guys can look like they're interacting with the stuff directly. So this is the Microcraft set that has the DIY canvas art in it. And it has a little paw print. So the caboodles themselves are actually different. They have, I think, different colorways, but also different crafts within. So that is very exciting. So I just need to get the tape off first. Pretty easy unboxing experience and then me. I'm gonna move this just so you guys can see what I'm doing. Put this open now, and that was a lot easier. Here we go. Oh, okay, so they're already painted for me. I just have to color them in. It's less pressure. And you can see that they were actually using that little divider. So all of the dividers will be compatible with the other ones. So that's nice. So as you can see, this one is a horizontal one as opposed to the vertical one my other came with. Um, but if you have a favor in one of these cases, you can just use like two verticals from two different sets in them. So I just really appreciate that. Okay, now I think this would be smarter to do it like this so that you guys can actually see what's going on. So are there instructions or, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I think I might've lost the instructions if there are any. No, I don't think they are. I think they just said, figure it out. All right, y'all, let's take a look at what we get in the set. So this is a desktop easel and it actually functions which is really nice. And I like this a lot because if you've ever seen those mini canvases that they sell at Michael's, which is a craft store or like any other craft store, if you've seen mini canvases, they're made for us to use and display our stuff with, right? So they're actually designed to be like standing easels just because that's cute. Um, so they don't look as realistic with your dolls. So this is much better. I really like this. And then it comes with this jar, I think, so that you can have water for your paintbrush. So you can rinse off the colors, which is pretty stinking cute. So. There you go. That's just really thoughtful that you don't have to like go get a cup or something. You get one. And then you get two canvases. And again, you could just go buy more. Um, these aren't necessarily the best canvas material, but I don't think they needed to be. So you get a cat boba tea and a panda cupcake one. Cute, fits the, the vibe of these sets, I guess. And then you get paint. So this one 
is much more of an activity that you can do. It's going to last a lot longer than the other one, but I prefer the unicorn terrarium, I think, overall, because it feels like there's more going on with that. I don't know. I feel like I would enjoy that for a lot longer, as opposed to this, after I'm done painting it. I'll display it in my doll's room and that's pretty cute. I don't know actually, it just depends on your preference, I guess, but the paintbrush is outrageously too large for the dolls to, you know, look like that's the paintbrush that they're actually using. But I mean, it is pretty, pretty cute. I like it. So let me get some of that tape from the packaging and we can kind of tape this to her hand maybe. And then we have a cute little scene set up, which look at that. That is so cute. I would normally use a uh, sticky tag, but I don't know where that is right now. All right, so look at that. She is gonna do her little paint thing. This is really fun. Okay, I kind of, I kind of love this. The paints are not the right size to stay, but the jar is. The jar is a cute little piece that you can use for other things, you know. And then what we have with the little terrarium, which again I think is a great size to be like an actual, like you know. Terrariums are like for people to like raise moss and different things. That's kind of what the size of that terrarium reminds me of, which is pretty adorable. And you know, like Ainsley could have that in her room. And I know that sort of thing is like trendy right now. I just, I know the word terrarium from like, that's where I keep my creatures, but I think that's called a vivarium or something. I don't know. Um, but let me put some of the different objects that we have here for your consideration. So you can see that the toys this one too big oh she dropped it yeah i didn't really arrange that in a way that made any sense a lot of the toys are not scaled correctly but i'll show you them regardless but a lot of them are scaled correctly so there's a lot of them that are like really really nice so cash register is actually really well sized for these which i'm very surprised by angel high i think is a little bit too big but the doll herself would be t just fine um this is like american girl size then the board games are all pretty i mean they would work for one six scale they would probably work for one twelfth scale if you really wanted to the tamagotchi's packaging is enormous for the scale they don't come in a box this big i love that the chain is printed on the back that's evil i thought it was going to come with the chain <laughs> um but the tamagotchi's box is too big but the tamagotchi itself is just fine and then the book is perfect i really want more books like that's great this is fantastic. I'm really excited about the book. For, for some reason, that's like the thing for me. And then you can see the little Play-Doh sets are well-sized for them. These are too small, but they would work like if you weren't super familiar with them, they work. Or they could just be like, that's a mini kitty corn surprise. Duh. And then I don't know how big this Orby set would be, but it looks like the right scale to me. It looks fine. And then our little koosh ball thing. I think this is supposed to be palm sized, so I think it is the right scale for these dolls. Let me unbox it again to show that to you. How did I unbox it the first time without hurting it? There we go. Okay. Let's get out of there. A little bit too big to be like perfectly palm sized, but I think it's pretty good. I think that serves its purpose. Okay. This doll is not wanting to hold her stuff. This Barbie is like, absolutely not. Um, but yeah, this is really, really cute. I really like this. Over all of the real littles, or not, are they called real littles? The, the five surprise is what I'm talking about. Out of all the five surprise stuff that I've ever gotten, these are the most worth it to me. The, I mean, and I had, I didn't do all of the series, so maybe I've missed out on some stuff, but the books are exceptional. I was not expecting, like, a book like that. That is so cool. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see that on the thing actually. I'm gonna have to go through that list again. Um, but the book is like absolutely exceptional. And these little micro crafts, not all of them are sized for dolls. Like I just bought the ones that were, but I mean, look at this. This is so fun. So this is the paint. I mean, it paints nicely. I'm not mad at it. Obviously, it's not like amazing paint or anything. Like I wouldn't recommend buying this to reuse the paint, but you do get a lot of extra paint. So if you were to buy more of these little mini canvases at a craft store, because generally people, they do sell these for like people who like to do miniature art, um, you would have that option. But yeah, so she can actually paint on her little canvas and then she can display her little canvas in her room and that is so fun. But even if you're not like a big doll person, it's also just fun, which is what Real Littles is getting at. So I think they got lucky that for some reason the 
mini brands got successful. I mean, no, I'm not saying it wasn't a good idea, but it got successful outside of like toy and doll people, which I don't know if they anticipated that. So that's really convenient because that means more money for them, you know? That's great for them. But, <laughs> you know. Um, so they're they're pretty much made to be miniatures for your dolls, I feel like, but that's not Sorry, I'm having trouble with the white balance, and this is such a cute little scene I've created. There we go. Um, this is just so fun. I love this. I love this. The terrarium is the best thing ever. I highly recommend it. And then I actually do recommend this mini brand set. If you do any kind of photography or playing with your dolls at all, or if you just want some stuff to supplement your display, all of this stuff is really, really fun. And I know we're all toy collectors, so we all have some kind of vested interest in toys. Um, and there's some options to get some cute doll ones like i consider my little ponies dolls but also like the angel high and stuff and the disney sets actually have disney princesses so there's also that option uh this is really cute i am super excited about this and i love how much of this stuff was scaled for one six scale because i feel like sometimes especially with the food stuff i feel like it's 50 50 if i will get things that actually are going to work with my dolls and i think i'm so excited that all of these different miniature products are coming out that are perfect for my dolls that is so exciting to me and yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you've bought any of these micro crafts that I didn't get, I think there's a snow globe one that they didn't have at the store when I went. Um, let me know how you liked them or is the terrarium just vastly superior? Um, I'm assuming the terrarium is superior because like, are you kidding? Look at that little unicorn in there. Not a care in the world. Fluttershy is like, God, I wish that were me. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye.